All right, so let's hope Galaga is all working sweetly because I have waited, and, I, and this is no word of a lie, because I have played Galaga on MAME, I played it on my homemade cocktail machines, I played it in stand-ups on the Astro City, uh, played it on Symes Cocktail. Um, I have not played an, in an original cab since I was 15 or 16 years old, guys. And as I said, this might be just Galaga to you guys. Um, it might be a standard cab that you see around in every arcade. But you got to realise back then, this a this game was the big successor from Galaxian, and Galaxian was already such an amazing step up from Space Invaders. And I went from one to the next, from Spaces to Galaxian. Fell in love with the star field and the colours in Galaxian, and of course the ships coming down. And then when I played Galaga and everything that goes on here, including your capture of your ship and getting two ships the challenging stages, the sounds, the music. This game seriously got me hooked, guys. It seriously got me hooked. So much so, I would bike about 40 minutes from home on my BMX, and I'd go out to a squash court um, that was out near the airport in Christchurch, and I'd go straight, a beeline straight up the top of the stairs at the squash court, they had a row of machines, and I can't even re remember how many machines were there. There could have been, I don't know, 10 to 15 machines. I can't remember any other game because every time I went to those squash courts, I came in and I just played Galaga, that's it. I just tipped all my money into it until it was done. And sometimes I would get down to like my last dollar and I was so addicted to this game, I'd actually go downstairs where near the reception area where you'd get your squash courts uh, booked in. They had one of these, um, one of those 20 cent coin slider machines and on the wall it was like a compact one called Gold Rush, if I recall correctly. And there was the chance guys there was a chance to put in a 20 and maybe just tip two or three 20s off the end just give me a couple of extra games like like it was a drug it was seriously a drug never got sick sick of the game and just loved it now in terms of game scoring i really hit a wall back in the day i, I think my scores were sort of around the 70 odd thousand side of things and then things that things got really difficult and started getting over I think 100, 110, 120,000. I don't know, I think over the years my high school may really only been up to around about 160, 170. See Cal on here has already got 196. Somehow the other day when Cal and Optimus, when we were over at the No Escape Arcade um, with Optimus on a Friday night, we're sitting down drinking beers relaxed we played a game of Galaga on the cocktail and I'll show you a little bit of the footage here guys because for some reason I managed to score over 300,000 on that game and that is just ridiculous to me because I don't know how I just just zoned out and just got into a rhythm but that was an amazing game it was on MAME so I had to do a bit of a Billy Mitchell there um, this gives me an opportunity <laughs> to either crash and burn or show some skills on a real original Galaga machine, guys, because it is very special. I have not had a game on this. Cal can attest to that. And I'm just going to go cold one game, and I'm going to see what I'm going to get. Um, and I'm going to try like I would normally try, and we'll see what happens, guys. So wish me luck. And... Unlike other games, I probably won't be sitting here sweating and carrying on like I do in the cockpits. Um, at least this one I could be a little bit more, you know, just stand up and smash away at the fire button. Maybe I'll get animated, we'll see. Probably when I lose a ship. So let's give it a go, guys. Let's see what I can do here. Oh. Music bouncing down from the top. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I got a little bit of a, sh a little bit of a shiver just with the sound effects. Something about it ricocheting off the cabinet like it is. That brings back a memory. Controls feel nice. Things I've picked up here, let's get a double ship early. 
Oh man, perfect height. I don't think I grew too much since I was 15, so I think I was probably about the same height. But the sound's beautiful. Here we go, guys. Stage deck. Should really get those when they come down. Come on. Come on. Alrighty. The challenging stage. That just fills you with juice, guys. Fills you with juice. Alright, we got our first extra man. Oh shoot. Shot the guy who had the extra uh, extra dudes underneath him. He's got to give me some more points. That's okay. Plenty of time, I guess. Alrighty. Feel, feeling good. Ah, oh, did it again. Hey! And when you learn this game the first time, those little bees that come up underneath you were always the ones that killed you. Until you got used to them. Uh, I'm not going to get those extras. Getting a bit of a risk, risk reward on those extras too because they they tend to come across and then another one will get in the way. Going for the perfect game, guys. Alrighty, you get past this stage, they don't shoot on stage 10, which is always a, a nice little breather. Whew, here we go, so yeah, they don't, don't shoot on this stage. Oh, should have left just that one to come out with the bonus ships. Okay, this is a stage as I don't like. Ah, missed him. Don't like this stage, guys. Ah, that was a bit average. It's a nice way to catch your breath though. Okay, we'll hit the hundred. Ok, 
Okay. I need to stay on the sweet guys. <laughs> Now it gets tough. So as soon as you're a man down, I've only got one chance of getting picked up here. And a lot of guys are going to get all over my case. And he's not going to pick me up, so I've got to wait for the next round, which is tough. And so this is what separates the men from the boys. <laughs> And that's not good, man. That is not good. Whew. Okay, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. I'm going to leave some of those guys out. I need to get a double man back again. And that's my focus. Much harder with so many guys coming out. You got one here. You shoot him on the way up. Couldn't get him. Still got a bit on the screen here to deal with. You got to shoot him twice too. And he's going to come down pretty fast now. Cheeky bugger, guys. Oh, we've got an extra on 120, and I'm down to one man on challenging stage. That's not good. there. It was a four. 36. Man, that was tough. All right, guys, we're still in a lot of trouble. we got to get that second now. I can't believe they got me in the corner like that when I was waiting for that ship to come down. It's just how horribly hard it gets as you start going through the levels. Is your false sense of security that everything's cool? And then it's raining bullets. Oh shit, I shot him, I shot him. Okay boys, we're gonna do this the hard way. Because once they don't pick up, then they won't pick up again. Don't you dare. One more, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Now I got the last man, guys. I've got to get this one back. Got a fairly good chance, he says. Can't shoot him while he's up there. Gotta come down. Here we go. Come on. Gotta risk it there. Alright, we are in trouble though. I've got no firing again on stage 18. That's a bit of a bonus. get into the end there and as soon as you're on one single guy it's really really hard and the key to the game is have two ships shoot as much as you can before they come out 
Um, I hats off to the guys that can just clock this. You know, I don't know how they do it. Uh, it gets really, really hectic when you're on just one man. Later stage is so fast. Just get those guys coming around with loops underneath you, bullets through the middle, forcing you into the corners. It's just a, it's a cracking game. And guys, after all this time of me actually just like, I'm, I'm shaking here. I'm actually, my legs are actually gone like jelly at the moment. Um, that was, uh, that was fun. But again, 212, it's, uh, it's not up there. It's not that crazy 300. But it's on a real machine. And this may actually be my highest score on a real Galaga machine. So guys, we're going to leave it there. Had a fantastic time uh, once again at Cows. I thank them very much for the invite over. A little smile on my face is going to last me for a little while, I think, tonight. And uh, I think what we'll do now is we'll head back to uh, the VIP lounge and we'll finish up.